This is just one of City Corp's nerve centers. It's for an exchange room. Each day, it moves a billion and a half dollars in currencies from 30 different countries. Basically, what we do is we buy and sell currencies against the dollar. We do it both for our own account and for the account of our customers. And the key feature here is speed, trying to follow what's going on in the international market so that uh, we can anticipate and catch trends as they occur. At Citicorp, nuances, subtle changes in the flow of information are crucial. And that's also true at Exxon, Lloyds of London, General Motors, Sony. Fortunes are made or lost because of information or the lack of it. Cable Dresner Frankfurt.
speed is everything. It's 40 minutes and a half. Offer a thousand. Offer, offer 1,540. Offer 1,500 and a half. Show the size. Ask him how much he sold. Give me a number. Tell him more behind it. Do it, do it, do it. There's more behind it. I can feel it. They're going to get it. I'm going to get it. <laughs> Iraq just said something. What does Iraq say? That was my buddy at probably, again, the, the second or third largest crew trading firm. And uh, his guys were, man, this guy, this guy, they sold the hell out of it. And the people that he worked with don't know that it was, which is great. That's even better.
Simon, come on. Let's go. So far. Mark. Yes, what about 200 so far? Do you have a catcher in that ring? Excuse me? Do you have a catcher? There should be somebody there signaling that stuff to you. You should definitely leave the phone. Do not leave the yeah, phone. We can be tunneled. 70 50, well, at least 100. Simon, finish it up. Finish it up right now. Oh, yeah, go up. I got more. Go down now. Hey, man. Hey, man. What do you got? It's fine. I think he's good. It's fine. I think he's good out there. Speak to me. Wait for a little bit. Someone get the other broker to come and run the orders in. Do not leave this phone. All right. What do you got? Jerry, he's got my card. Attend to that and you got it. All right. Lot 75 and 80. Yo. 75 and 80. So we bought 300 and sold 20, right? Yes. What do you got, Paul? Buy 300 at 90 or better right now. You can't repeat that. 90 for 300. 90 for 300. Buy 300 at 90. Buy 390. 390, okay. This setting up is a beautiful trim day. Look at this. I know. It's not even moving. We could be right. That's what I'm thinking. That's where I want to run a couple of days in okay. this period because that's where we are. Let's look at the 1500 too. Is that what you're looking at? Yeah. Oh, that's perfect. Okay. What do you got, Mark? Speak to me. 75 and 80. Well, it's Joey. Hello, Joey. What are we doing? We're, we're trying to buy 390, right? Yeah. We're right now. Give me pedals. Give me pedals. In time, do not fuck around. I want to buy it. Okay. Quote me. Quote me. Quote me. What's the market? 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, Let me know what we've done. Call Sam back and let me know what we've done. Paul, how many we've done? Uh, all right, I'll call you back. Well, I think we have a position. The market's closed. The traders have all gone home. Sleeps. The trading day in Asia is about to begin. And then the great money centers of Europe will awaken and we'll start the cycle all over again. All driven by dollars, Deutschmarks, and yen. The power behind a global economic force that affects each and every one of us. Independent News. This is USA Tonight with Brad Holbrook. Good evening. Today is Black Monday, the day the Dow dropped more than 500 points. The day the Dow dropped more than 22 percent, almost double the rate of the Black Monday that signaled the beginning of the crash of 1929. But this crash of 1987 is not just an American experience. Around the world, stock markets fell faster than a skydiver without a parachute. 
The panic starting in Tokyo this morning while the West slept. One cause of the sell-off was reaction to last week's 236-point drop in the Dow. The result, the Nikkei average was down 260 yen. Then, like a plague, sell fever headed west. In Frankfurt, fears of higher interest rates in the U.S. triggered the drop there. In two and a half hours of trading, the Commerce Bank share index fell 132 points. In London, an even larger drop. The British market trying to cope with Friday's national computer failure was thrown into a near panic. The result, the London Financial Times index down more than 183, the biggest one-day drop in Britain's history. And from there to Wall Street, where the numbers speak for themselves. Unofficially, the Dow stands at 1738.41, a drop of more than 508 points, with a volume of more than 604 million shares. Proof, as Alec Roberts reports, that the panic hit a fever pitch.
communications. Everything here is dedicated to communication. Every single piece of electronic gear. We try to catch trends, to identify, to put the information together and come up with what we think will happen in the exchange markets. There is, in fact, an information society for sure. In fact, the entire, the entire foreign exchange market is based on information. Now, what a bank has for sale is information, and this has always been true.